guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to the finale of Didn't I Say to Make My Abilities Average in the Next Life? Honestly, I really don't want to watch this, but you know I have to watch it because it is the last episode, but at the same time, it's going to be really heartbroken for me and sad. I don't really want this show to end, and then once it's officially over, I can continue reading the novels and stuff when I have time from packing, because I have been busy ever since last night. And such, and things happened last night that I really don't feel like talking about and shit. But, yeah. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with the final episode in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm just laughing about the fact is, um, when I downloaded this, I was like, okay, they're probably gonna have a moment where they're probably going to recap that little bit. No, they was like, we going right into the episode. We're going to do the opening first. And then we're going into the episode. I was like, oh, okay, this is like, it's like, mm, serious as fuck. <laughs> but, I mean, Adele's knocked out. The other three are still going against the Elder Dragon. Then you got the new girl who's there, Leah, or Leia. Leia? Who's coming? Because since we now know her name, and she's in the book, and she's in volume four, bam but we don't know if she's gonna be in the party like forever or just for a little while and i think in my opinion she might just be there for a little while until the end of this episode mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Shit, it's in the bath. <laughs> it's in my bathroom. Oh, I figured they were going to do something like this. They were going to make a dream sequence, which you got to switch to. She's so pretty. <laughs> really? She doing something too. Mm, nice. One thing that I'm kind of hoping about these three, especially with the fact that I'm still only on chapter two of this first book, is that we get to know a little bit more about them. Because what I remember is, I know in this first book, we don't really get to see the rest of the girls, I think, until about 
almost the end of the first book, but these three are going to be, like, the major, major, like, her first best friends, so I hope they do them really good, like, justice in the book, because, I mean, the anime did it good, but I still feel like there's a lot of unanswered questions with them. But remember, you're as strong as an elder diamond. Yeah. True. Yeah, but then you never would have met Mavis, Pauline, or Raina. Exactly, so you can't give up. <laughs> The power of OP friendship coming up in a second. Watch. <laughs> yeah, that seemed like really hurt. <laughs> And she had a conversation with herself. We doing spirit gun? <laughs> so... You know, if you get angry, you turn to the Incredible Hulk.
See, my thing is, she's like, yeah, let me do the shoulders first. Why don't you just go ahead and do the chest, boo-boo? <laughs> uh, of course, there will be more. See the thing is that a human man. I mean, it's me. the kind of <laughs> If that does not defeat them, I swear to God. <laughs> Can you hand up, please? It, it, it's just best not to really ask. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh.
Thank you, baby. I think so, too. <laughs> you good job? Why? Okay. Oh my God. You know, Nano, I know that's not cheating, but in a way it's kind of cheating. I mean, still, we would like to know we have the right to know. Huh, okay. Whatever it is, it's something bad. You know what? And there's points where I felt like she might see him again. Maybe sometime after book four. I don't know, but... Possibility. Yeah, because you can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and plus, she's distracted about it. It's supposed to be a rocket? Yeah, but you can't, right? Yeah. I mean, okay, here's another thing I think. I know that she can't tell them about that, but there's going to be a day. It's going to come. I don't know when, but in the books, she's going to have to tell them. Are you leaving? You're not serious, are you? If this show ends, with her leaving and not seeing them again, girl.
But I know she's doing it in order to protect them. I get that, but still. <laughs> we got like three minutes left. Oh my god. <laughs> True. Because you never know what's going to happen. No. Oh, she loves being with you guys. Well, because she was going to leave you. It, yeah. <laughs> okay, so final thoughts on this show. I really, really enjoyed the crap out of this show. It is very, very underrated between this and... Um, a sentence of a bookworm for fall 2019. Hella underrated. I mean, if we want to talk about more shows that are underrated from this, like, overall 2019, you can say Hatsune Boshi is another one of those. Um, anything that I watched, literally, that did not have a lot of views, that had a lot of views kind of in the beginning, but not a lot of people were talking about it. But she can't. <laughs> of course. I mean, okay. So the way this is essentially ending, it's kind of as an open ending from like any other show that I've seen from the past, from 2016, from when I started reactions to now. Um, and even before I did reactions, typically sometimes when they do open endings, 50 out of 50, the show may get a second season or it may not. I would like for it to get a second season, but I think with the way it's done, because like this show kind of gives me the feels of another show that I was like highly obsessed, um, obsessed over between like, um, 20, between the time I moved between 2017 and 2018 and it's two shows, it's freaking, um, Welcome to the Ballroom, and um, not sure if River Field Night, even though that's another one of them. Um, the Ancient Magnus Bride. There we go. Okay, so when the Ancient Magnus Bride and when the other show both ended, and they both had these open endings, and I was sitting here like, we're never gonna get a season two. I know the manga for um, Welcome to the Ballroom like essentially continued because she was on a hiatus for like I think a couple of years because she was sick and she got better. And for um, Ancient Magnus Bride, it's kind of because of the fact that they were so heavily close to the manga. And then I think about maybe a couple of months later, I want to say about <sighs> summer 2018, there was like a, um, a video released. And I immediately thought it was season two. And then I, I found out, no, it wasn't season two. It was just like a video of... Um, she say like going to freaking uh, look like high school or whatever 
And I was just like, oh my god, are they gonna really do it? But no, like, even in 2019, it still hasn't happened. And it's just like, I want more into the story. But, I mean, you're only, the only way you're gonna get your answers is if you read the damn novel. And I hope that I can get it done, like, ASAP. Because I don't know how many novels they're gonna have. Like I said, I only have the first four. And as of right now, I think they have a total of seven novels of this series and such. And so, maybe it's a possibility that by the time I get to probably novel four going on to novel five things that they were talking about in this last episode and well between last week's episode and this final episode will possibly um be talked about in this book because of the fact is with like leah she's in this she's in the freaking artwork of this so it's like something to me it's just like no this is the wrong one i literally took up the wrong one was it this one? Oh my god let me go back a page but it's either book three or book four. Mm, give me book three. Um, that was book three. This is book four. Oh my god. Take two. As I was trying to say. So she's in this book. Because she's right here literally with everybody else. They're at a campfire. She's drinking. And, and that's it. They're all just sitting there having a meal together. So however, whatever really happens in book four. She's going to be a part of the group for like maybe longer than this episode or really both the, this last week's episode and this episode i don't know if she's like once i get like book five if she'll be a part of the group permanently or she'll be like you know as she said she'll possibly see each other again and stuff like that and then maybe about like book five book six book seven um that's when they essentially meet each other again but i don't know i mean it's a possibility that when i read this book whenever i get to it because yeah i'm a fast reader but between packing and recording i'm like uh i don't have time to read and ish i felt like probably sometime next year i'll be able to like finally be able to sit down and read and stuff so i'm just kind of hoping that if it is like these last two episodes similar to this book then we already know we know how it's gonna go but then it's just gonna leave me at like this big old to be continued thing and we're never really gonna know um what literally anything could mean the stuff about what the elder dragons were talking about like because it's something big and it could literally be anything like it could be like the situation is almost like end of the world situation because of the fact is this is a world where there's no gods and she's literally the only one who can match up to these elder dragons so i'm hoping that maybe this is what i kind of think and i've been thinking about this ever since maybe episode four or five and i kind of been getting feels towards it when i've like when i've thought about um what i did reactions on um two shows uh shield hero and um the uh oh my god reincarnated as a slime that show i was thinking and i had to think about this really hard and i had to go back a couple of weeks ago and check to see about it if there could have possibly been, maybe, not even now, maybe in book five, six, seven, whatever, what if there has been someone else who has also been um, transported to the East Side Kyrie world where basically um, they meet Adele, Milo, and her friends. And it could be Leia because we barely really know anything about Leia. We know that she's, a, um, she's like the oldest and stuff and she's been here for a while. So... It could possibly be her. I'm not 100% like sure on that. That's just a little guess. But because of the fact is it seems like she's been here for the longest. Signs kind of literally point to yes. Like if you've seen both like Shield Hero and The Time I Got Reincarnated in the Slime. There we go. That's the name of the damn show. Um, especially really The Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. With um, the one character who I cannot remember her name right now. She was reincarnated first before the Slime character was. Remy Do. And essentially, he got to learn about her past before certain things happened to her and stuff like that. So I feel like it could be something like that. I'm not 100% sure. It's just, like I said, guesses. And I ain't going to know until I continue reading this dang series. But I hope, as since I've only been on Chapter 2 for like the past few weeks, it is it gives me just so many feelings as this show, if not more. It's just, it's going to be a little weird because it's like, you have to now imagine everything in your mind instead of seeing an anime version to it. But if it, let's say, like, if it were to get a season two, I would maybe say 
between 2021 and 2022. That's it. I could possibly see it maybe two or three years down the line from now. I would, like, because, I mean, think about all these other shows that, like, possibly ended earlier in the years, years before, and they're now eventually now getting their second season. Like, there's just one, um, I think, Irregular at Magic High School or some ish, like, the show that I've never seen, and it's on my Netflix queue, and I'm, like, telling myself every single day we're gonna watch it, but then I forget. And even when I was, like, <laughs> re-watching Dororo with my mom, like, the girl who is voiced by my favorite voice actress is there, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, DJ, gotta watch that show, but who knows? I mean, it's really just up to the company what they possibly want to do next if it's, like, possibly greenlit. It also depends on merchandise sales, um, possibly maybe even book sales, because, like I've said in the past, the way animes get season twos are, like, way hella different here and then here in America because you know with us it's ratings for TV shows with them it's really about like merchandise and stuff like that which I mean it's very interesting but like still other than that guys that is my reaction view choice the series the nice way to make my abilities average in the next life if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the magical squad and of course I will see you guys in the first week of January 20 2017 2020 for winter 2020. Bye, guys.